Morning, it is Monday and this is the second week back vlogging, which is pretty exciting. Last week was kind of fun filled, so uh, I don't know whether this week will be quite so packed with stuff, but we'll see how it pans out. Uh, today I do have some fun things uh, on the cards. It is quarter past 12, quarter past 12? No, it isn't. It's quarter past nine. And uh, yeah, I've got a meeting at half past 10 in town at Metrics, which is an independent coffee shop with um, my two team leaders uh, of our Southampton Etsy team, which I'm the captain of, um, because we're organizing an Etsy craft fair this Christmas in Southampton, first one ever. So we're gonna chat all the details of that because we need to nail down everything like venue and amount of vendors and insurance and everything like that now. So that should be fun. And then after that, I've got work, work, work to do and kickboxing tonight. Also need to do the last little bits of editing for last week's vlog because I did all of the footage editing but I haven't got like an end slate slash uh, outro so I'm trying to work on that now, I'll show you. This is what it looks like so far, that's not going to be there. But this hopefully will have uh, more videos showing in it. This is my um, social media handles, little click to subscribe button where the picture of me is going to go there and then that's kind of the rough idea. So I want to get that finished now before I go to my meeting so I can upload the vlog. No I can't. <laughs> no it's really hard to get the vlog through. <laughs> I'm in metrics, shouting over their background music. Um, we are having, ta -da! this is Kate and Charlotte and we are planning our very first Etsy Made Local that we're hosting here in December, December the 3rd, and it's gonna be great. We're just choosing like, what are we deciding? Deciding all the logistics, stuff. Yeah. stuff, stuff. Logistics, but basically we've got to nail down a venue which is harder than any of us anticipated, right? Like, yeah. but we've got it down to two places. Here may or may not be one of them, but mystery. <laughs> um, but yeah, there is a lot to do. So we've been sat here this morning, uh, hashing it all out basically, and we've still got loads to do. So uh, we're gonna carry on. We're in the park and it is one o'clock, 20 past one, and we're about to have our Mexico lunch. Okay, no, we're not. We definitely ate our entire lunch and I didn't even think to film it because I'm too much of a piggy and I just gobbled it down really fast but it was really nice <laughs> and now it's time to go home. watered everything this morning didn't because I didn't realize it was gonna be this hot today so yeah the garden is looking really really sad especially all of the vegetables and tomatoes are, like basically doubled over in half so I've just given everything a massive water and hopefully they'll perk up a bit I mean the cats didn't bother watering them today and done anything useful she's just being naughty over here in the corner what's she doing what is it what have you found? Oh no. Oh, whatever it was, you've eaten it. Is that nice? Is that a fly? Spider? Much better after a drink. It's somehow quarter past four already. Um, I have finished, finally, um, making my end slate for my YouTube videos, which you hopefully will have seen in last week's video, which is the one I'm editing now, but I'm just sat here, literally, my Mac sounds like it's taking off, because it's trying to export the 40 minute long video, hope you enjoyed it! So fingers crossed it does actually uh, export, otherwise I will probably throw myself downstairs. Well, it's quarter to six and 
really peed off because I have been sat doing crappy little things on my computer because it's been taking off exporting my video and three and a half hours later from when I started it's just crashed and left me with like a corrupt file so now I need to start that entire export process again and also somehow Premiere Pro deleted the last like 20 seconds of my video along with all the audio stuff I'd done and my end slate so really raging right now I'm gonna do that haven't really got much choice um and then I've got to go to kickboxing so it is now half past seven if you can still hear my Mac it's still <laughs> exporting the bloody file so I am gonna drag my grumpy butt to kickboxing because otherwise I'm just gonna roll around at home being grumpy and annoyed and dwelling on it so Jack's gonna make a nice dinner but when I get back we're gonna watch Game of Thrones because we're super cool like that and I'm just gonna cross my fingers and toesies that this flipping thing sorts itself out whilst I am at kickboxing because lord help me if it doesn't Day. I partnered with Abs, so he basically mullered me, which was great. And now I'm on my way home for dinner. Dinner was super nice. Thanks, Jack. And now I've got a massive bowl of raspberries, strawberries, more roasted apricots, and some vanilla coconut yogurt my pud and we're gonna watch Game of Thrones because it's the first one of the new series and we're mega nerds so I'm gonna go do that now I will see you in the a.m. good morning it is Tuesday uh, it is half past nine uh, I've just been semi tidying up the lounge because it was looking a bit of a state and I'm just waiting for Florence to get here uh, who owns Hoxton Bakehouse and um, because I am looking after little Flynn just for a couple of hours this morning whilst I have a meeting so that'll be fun uh, the weather's nice so hopefully we'll be in the garden and Jack's working from home today as well so he'll be about still struggling to get this YouTube video uploaded other than that I've got loads of work to do today and the gym tonight legs bums and tums which makes me want to do anything other than legs, bums and tums because squats and lunges are my least favourite thing in the whole world. Anyway, other news, I'm wearing one of my new chenille patches, the little uh, fluffy heart guy, um, popped him on this H&M t-shirt thing and I think he looks really cute. Yummy, yummy. Having the best time in your boat. <laughs> oh. Oh. Are you mad because I paused in the night garden? But the postman just delivered a parcel, Flynn. And YouTube doesn't like it if there's things that I don't have copyright to in the background. Oh, thank you for that. I spit out a grape on the floor. Oh, back in the mouth, lovely. So nice. So nice, what's in here? Let's have a look. It is the business cards for um, my little pin collaboration that I am doing with Pinata, my friend Kate. When I am not looking after a cheeky Flynn bear spitting out bits of grape 
and crisps all over my floor, I will pop the pins on the backs and show you properly. I know, I can't really do that. <laughs> is, that your, is that your smile? Oh, it's so nice. <laughs> Cheeky monkey! Where are you going? <laughs> ah, so, today has been stressful. <laughs> Again. Ah, this uploading thing and exporting and editing and all of the things that have just been going wrong constantly has driven me to insanity and put me in a really bad mood. Which is not good because bless him, Jack's at home and he's trying really hard to cheer me up and I'm in such a funk. Ugh. The video is now uploaded, hopefully you'll have watched it last week, hopefully this week won't be anywhere near as bad, but yeah, it is nearly half past five and I need to get a jog on because I've got legs, bums and tums and despite not wanting to go even a little bit, I have to because yesterday's kickboxing did an amazing job at getting me out of a bad mood and into a really good one and despite the fact that this is my least favourite class of all, I'm hoping that, you know, going to the gym all of the like brain endorphins that it releases and a break from the studio and a change of scenery will um, fix me right up. Camera's not got much battery but I'll try and take you with me maybe so you can see some of the hell that is my class. weather when I leave the gym on a Tuesday it's actual thunder and lightning and pouring of rain but I am in a better mood after that class so that's something right <sighs> wish me luck this is hideous <laughs> most terrifying drive home from town I've ever experienced in my life. There was two burst water mains and torrential rain on the Millbrook flyover road. It was literally like the water must have been three foot deep. I honestly thought the car was going to break down in it. Two cars had broken down in it and there was a person trying to push a bicycle through it and it was at the top of the wheels of their bike. Like that's how insane it was. So thank god I'm home and I'm really excited to eat all of this food. Jack's already started. <laughs> Perfectly ripe avocado, yes. Homemade slaw, nicey salad, coconut yogurt, hummus, salsa, olives, nicey tomatoes. Boom. Morning, it is Wednesday, it's half past eight. Uh, it is muggy as hell, good lord. Last night's storm I thought was gonna like clear the air, but. I'm really hot and I'm just in a t-shirt. So apparently there's going to be a storm tonight as well, Jack said. Um, and our little water butt in the garden that we use to water the veggies is like already totally full from last night, obvi. So I thought I'd take that opportunity to water the indoor plants using some rainwater. So I've got this beast and I'm still going to probably have to do multiple trips to the water butt because guys like this take practically an entire watering can to fill the water reservoir and I need to repot him really because he's like bursting out of the pot um, and his roots are like coming up through the water reservoir but I filled this on Saturday and he's already drunk literally everything so I'm gonna top him up See how much it takes? Boom. Nearly gone. <laughs> I am just getting on with some admin, uh, answering emails, planning in my bullet journal, um, at the dining room table actually for a change, whilst I just wait for Charlotte to get here. And also Kate and Elphine are coming over this morning. I 
I worked with a brand called Seven Boot Lane, who are awesome, and they said they wanted to send me some shoesies, which is really nice because I posted that picture um, of me doing a handstand in their shoes, and I couldn't decide which shoes I wanted between two pairs on their website, so they were like, let's surprise you, and so this is, I guess, the pair that they've sent me. Uh, so let me show you. This is the cute little box. <laughs> so good. So, yeah, they're really, really nice. So, um, these are the awesome little slip-ons um, that I shared in the picture. And they're so nice. I think they're called Appalooza, I think. Um, but they were so comfy when I, when I tried them on for the photo, despite the fact that I had a size too small on my feet and I, like, tried to cram them on. <laughs> they actually were really comfy. Second package is going to prove very difficult to open one-handed. Ta-da! <laughs> so, uh, in here, look at this. So, I have ordered some, well, two different types of incredible holographic fabric that I am going to make some product samples with. I'm just doing a little Instagram post um, that I was gonna do a little like black cats appreciation uh, pins and patches because I suddenly realised I actually have quite a few um, patches and pins of other people's and obviously my own. So we are gonna have sourdough toast. I feel like I should be sponsored by Hoxton Bakehouse, but uh, I guess technically I am because I work for them, so I do get a ready supply of sourdough bread. Um, but we're having that toasted with avocado, olive oil, Frank's hot sauce, because I literally live for that stuff, homemade slaw, beetroot, spinach, lettuce, koyo, roasted tomatoes, salsa, and some olives. I feel like as this week's gone on. <laughs> already and we're only on Wednesday afternoon I've just got more and more haggard looking like total disclosure I am kind of stressed right now so I said I was frustrated yesterday uh, and Monday as well at my editing software not working and YouTube playing silly buggers as well uploading things but like it sometimes feels like running your own business and spinning all the plates all of the time is just like fighting a constant losing battle basically because there's always new software to learn and there are always new marketing tricks to you know adapt to and utilize and having not had a background in business it's so difficult the learning curve is always so steep it's just exhausting and i'm really feeling it this week so this is how my newsletter is looking at the moment, <laughs> having fought with it. I made this little graphic again on my iPad um, in Photoshop and I've popped it in to promote the new store and the new products and I've kind of popped one of my favourite new snaps on with a little banner here um, promoting the free shipping on cards which is going to be a feature of the new website and then I've got a little paragraph about what's going on a call to action. I'm hoping that this will look nice uh, and that people might click it and open it and not just delete it from their inbox. So uh, I've also run out of raw mail, mail sacks, so I'm gonna pop to the mail center to try and get some of these. Um, in here is all of my UK orders um, and then in here is all of my ones that need to go today that are uh, international, so they need a mail bag. Frizzy, wispy, wet hair can only mean one thing. <laughs> I've been to the gym. I had boxing this evening uh, with Gemma and my pal Megan was there tonight as well, which was amazing because I haven't seen her for what feels like an eternity. Her wedding invitation is still sitting on my desk. Um, 
So yeah, good class, and now it's time for some dinner. Nothing like the pressure of guests coming over to tidy your house, eh? I mean, everybody knows it's not really normally tidy, right? Or well, anybody that actually knows me knows that it's uh, hideously messy 90% of the time. Rare occasion when my studio is actually pretty tidy. Spare room is also tidy. Clean the bathroom too. And the bedroom, well, I mean there's still clothes in various places, but it's pretty tidy. This is rare for us, for me especially. Moo is in his tent where he just lives now, it's his home now. Jack's working at the dining room desk. <laughs> Um, the kitchen's pretty tidy too. Yeah, YouTube can be your next so well, stream of revenue. You can monetize the YouTube. Do you talk to it? Well, yeah. Um, <laughs> 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 yeah. So that's Bill. <laughs> and we are offbeat in Wickham because everybody that knows me knows this is my favourite place ever for amazing vegan food. So, yeah, we're starting as I always do before eating food or proper food with cake. You can totally stab the cake up. It's. Oh, you do it really delicately now. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Mine's definitely more photogenic than that. <coughs> right. Lucky we're sharing, eh? Third cake time. Bill made me do it. <laughs> Dead bad <band> face. <laughs> So, back from a really nice lunch with Bill and back to business. Uh, firstly, got a super cute feature um, by Buzzfeed in one of their <laughs> hilarious lists. Have a little look. Um, so, this list is 32 ridiculously cute products that will 100% melt your heart and are <laughs> my teeny baby moon and sun patches from um, the latest collection. So, thanks for that, Buzzfeed! amongst some very cute company here. Also, Jack is being data scientist extraordinaire and is typey typing away here looking at all of my sales um, history, I guess you'd call it, from my own store, um, just to do a little bit of statistics and things like that for me because I never look at anything like that and it's been quite interesting already. Fun fact for you is that my most frequent customer name is Emma or Emily, so that's kind of cool. Thank you to all the Emmas and Emilys that have been ordering from me. Um, and also, I felt like the majority of my orders, at the moment at least, was um, coming from the US. And I thought that was probably because of the weakness of the pound, but, um, you know, the strength of the dollar, meaning that it looks cheaper to US customers um, when they look at the pricing online and so they're more inclined to order. But transpires that actually it's pretty much like a 50-50 split on that front. Uh, but yeah, working on my mailing list now and trying to get a newsletter scheduled for the new store launch. I've just got in from second tone the aircon in the gym was like broken or something this evening so it was like bikram yoga basically like being in a sauna but jumping around on a stepper with weights and <sighs> bars but i am ravenously hungry so i'm gonna gobble down basically 90 percent of that so we have got uh kind of like a stir fry i guess but <laughs> mostly just a pan of veg um, there is courgette, pepper, carrot, sweet corn, onions, spring greens, leeks, yep, those things, and also this super nice um, smoked tofu with sesame and almonds, that's cooking, we're going to add some coconut milk, some waitrose waste in sauce, which um, is really nice and it hasn't got too much crap in it, which is always good. And then have that with some wilted spinach and spring greens. 
Oh, and the ends of our beetroot from the garden. Cool. It's Friday and um, Charlie is here with me today again. I just, this morning, I've just been listening to like, this is Linkin Park uh, playlist that Spotify created really that's just like a huge back catalogue of all of their hits. Um, ones that were like a soundtrack to my youth really. I remember listening to Hybrid Theory when it first came out in like the late 90s and hearing the news yesterday evening of um, Chester's death, you know, through suicide is so like so desperately sad and it's hard to put it into words like how it makes you feel and especially when it's someone that you don't actually know in real life that isn't you know a close friend or family but f someone you felt connected to like that in a way through their music I feel like it still hits you hard because mental health is such a complex disease really and it can affect people in so many different ways and often those really dark battles that people are fighting are totally invisible um, to anybody on the outside and because mental health appears to you know still kind of be a stigmatized issue something that people don't openly talk about for fear of being judged it just makes I guess knowing what to say or how to act even harder. So for me, I have suffered from depression in the past. I've talked about it on the blog and, um, you know, seven years ago now, nearly, I lost my boyfriend to cancer and that was a terribly difficult time um, for me. Like, he, whilst he was in hospital and I was kind of living in the hospital room with him, it was, yeah, it was really hard. And after he died, I struggled a lot with depression and I guess what you would call post-traumatic stress um, and that was a really confusing and consuming time when you're battling all of these dark thoughts in your head and it feels like there is no light at the end of this tunnel, the end of this kind of fight that you're internally going through and unless you have somebody there to listen and the support systems in place to help you I can't even imagine what it must be like getting to the point that that Chester or that anybody that actually commits suicide gets to. And it makes me desperately sad that people can ever feel that alone. I think we all have a duty to listen more, to ask people if they're okay and to just let them talk if that's what they need. And if you are suffering from you know mental health and you feel like you don't have anybody to talk to and nowhere to turn and like you can't see the light at the end of this tunnel then you can call the samaritans and um i'll put their number on screen now but they are there to listen 365 days a year day and night whatever you're going through like you do make the world a better place and you are so loved so yeah, don't give up. Jack got these uh, tail skin peanuts from Rice Up yesterday and I'm just gonna pop the oven on for like 10 minutes or so um, because we are going to make peanut butter literally just peanuts once they're roasted we're gonna blitz them in the vitamix because it's crazy blendy and hopefully then we'll have some flipping peanut butter because we've been out for like a week in the corner <laughs> in your love heart slanket. <laughs> Charlotte's been banished to the corner today. She's not allowed to use the standing desk. Now apparently this is the most comfortable place to sit and edit vlog footage. <laughs> and it's cold. <laughs> the 
most comfortable space except for this nice comfortable chair that I'm on. I know how to look after my uh, employees and family. You're just a little blur in the background. <laughs> Oh, I've made her put headphones in um, because I couldn't bear the sound <laughs> of my own voice. <laughs> I'm like trying to concentrate. Oh, drawing all over myself. Haven't put the lid on my pen. Trying to concentrate over here, writing some copy for something exciting that I am doing that's currently not announced yet. And then all you can hear in the background is your own voice <laughs> talking about mundane things like dinner and the gym. It's just really... And how stressed you were. And how stressed I was the other day, guys. Oh, yeah, it's just uh, very off-putting. So had to relegate her to the corner with headphones so that I can get on with serious business. I'm currently just editing quickly some um, images that I took on my camera to share on Instagram. I use a piece of software from Apple called um, Aperture when I do my photo editing. I really, really like it. Uh, I've used it forever. Um, I could do it all in Photoshop or Lightroom, but I actually really like Aperture and I'm kind of used to it. So um, basically I use that. I can really easily toggle between originals and edits and then just kind of export it as whichever file I would like and pop it straight to my phone if I want to share to Instagram. So that's what I'm doing for the next five to ten minutes before I head off to the gym for PT. That was hard, man. <sighs> he literally had me with the resistance band around my legs doing like crab walks and squat jumps and all sorts for what felt like an eternity. And then by the time we got to deadlifts, I could hardly walk. We're doing an online shop because our fridge is empty and I'm obsessed with this. You can't even see it. Rebel Kitchen coconut yogurt coffee flavour and it's amazing. And then we were like, oh, let's get some kombucha because that's really nice too. And then we realised we've spent £30 already and all we have in our trolley <laughs> is two bottles of kombucha, a massive coconut yogurt. <laughs> 12 little like Rebel Kitchen coconut milk flavoured drinkies that I love and six packs of coconut yoghurt that's uh, coffee. So just coconut yoghurt and kombucha we spent £30. That's disgustingly millennial and hipster. Oh, but We have got £10 off so it's totally fine, right? Oh, cat hairs on the camera. Nice. It is 20 to 10. I am... Pretty knackalack. I've demolished my massive dinner, had roasted apricots and coconut yogurt and peanut butter, weird combo, for pudding and some squares of chocolate. And yeah, now I'm gonna have a shower, maybe even a bath, treat myself and have an early night. But tomorrow is the weekend. We've got some fun things planned. I'll share them with you on next week's vlog and Thank you so much for tuning in again, <laughs> following along with my little life, and I'll see you next week, bye!